Hi Aquarius, welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Uh, Aquarius is Vattemanen in Swedish. I am Swedish, so I will use a few Swedish words here and there if you wonder what I'm doing, explaining some uh, of the English words sometimes, if I feel like it's a bit tough word. Um, I'm gonna just shuffle as I talk. Aquarius, I feel uh, yesterday I felt like there was a big, like, I don't know, a shift somehow in the energy and and I was really sort of taking taking it back a bit um, feeling a bit wiped wiped out if that makes sense um, and so today it's sort of like a lingering it's like a if you were out having a major party it's sort of that sort of it was a fun time but you were a bit sleep deprived and and even though how much fun it is um, you sort of need your rest the day after. That's what I feel like. The big, beautiful energy coming in, but you're sort of a bit drained. And maybe you're picking up on that as well and feeling a bit tired. Um, I, I also continue to talk about Scorpio season. I'm so drawn into what happens around, like, through mid-October to mid-November somewhere. I, I just keep feeling that major shifts happening. So let's see Aquarius, my Ellen DeGeneres, what's going on for you for the upcoming week. And I do three cards at the same time because it gives me a story, a storyline. And then if the message resonates with you, there's going to be a link. Let's see if you want a fourth one. Not really. Um... There's going to be a link in the description box down below. Then you can just check that out if you want. If it doesn't re resonate with you, then I can't talk. If it doesn't resonate with you, then just leave it. Okay, guys, I want to show you the cards. Beautiful. Unicorn. Friendship. And magical carpet ride. It's not called that, but it's called vacation. So give me a moment to see what it's all about. It's like Guys, I feel like you've been... Sorry for taking uh, such a long time. A very interesting <laughs> video this for you guys. Um, I'm so drawn to talk about like how the star, a star is born. I mean, that's the movie I just realized. A star is born. But like here in the top of the unicorn horn, like there's a... star I want to yell a star there and I feel like you might have felt tired sad like maybe sleep deprived maybe just overworked overwhelmed I just feel like that's you and that you're sort of just have pulled back and you're just I don't know taking care of things doing the most important thing but then sort of wanting to retreat sort of wanting to take a step back or something and now it's like com this coming week there's something swirling it looks it's just, it's the co star constellation there but it's it, to me today it looks like something swirling it's swirling around the horn it's swirling around the star and it's like a new star is born and i feel like that's you i feel like you're coming into a new f a new light there's some new light coming in like uh an aha moment there's a new situation being shown to you we went down this path but there's actually a new path being shown to you and since it's my unicorn card it talks about relationships and so there can can be it's a general reading so take better replies for you uh as i said that it says 444 on the clock so it's very heartfelt it's a very big move movement of the heart chakras um Yeah, I just feel 
I just feel that almost like Aquarius that you've been asleep. I always talk about like being awakened or being asleep and you know the people around you if they're asleep. And I feel that on some level you've been asleep. You can be so aware, like mentally aware. You can be really wise and you can be really mature and all of that. That's not what I'm talking about. But you can still be to a certain extent sleeping like you can be very very wise you can be like at the top of your class but still 3d version and now it's like you've been asleep and you're coming into realization you're you're starting to wake up to higher dimensions to new realities to um there's kids playing so there's my there might be like new like young light energy coming into you and you're starting to feel alive in a in a completely new way with the next card coming out um friendships i don't i'm not drawn to the word so it's the same thing here it just talks about this opening this almost revelation I want to say so I feel like you've been asleep Aquarius Aquarius is that I'm that I'm connecting with this week and don't please don't be offended like if you're sitting there like what I'm freaking awake I've been as awake as an awake light worker can be then uh, oh then it's like then maybe it's not for you maybe it's other Aquariuses that I'm that I'm connecting with this week but there's always a new level there's always leveling up. There's always some newfound place and understanding and expansion going on. And so take that to heart. Like really try to feel like maybe I'm more to learn. Maybe I'm not like done. Maybe maybe I've, I'm just actually waking waking up and there's more to find here. There's more to realize about myself and people around me and about Mother Earth and the universe. We're just barely like... I don't know the Nobel Nobel the Nobel Prize was supposed to go to somebody that just discovered that discovered that there actually is like other planets there there are like life um, I'm not gonna get too deep into that but I mean we're so just barely discovering things and I feel like you are waking up to new realizations let's say that so that we are all friends. Um, and I feel like this was you, sort of very naive, very sort of almost a bit cold. Do you see how she's like turned the other way and the back against things and very cold, very blue and very cold. And now we're waking up. We're coming into this very spiritual place and very and way warmer. Like, okay, I can shift my perspective. I can look another direction now. I can actually turn my like like body towards the thing the situation the person uh what i'm dealing with um and 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 i'm still somewhat asleep but i'm waking up i'm understanding more and more of this spirituality and coming into new understandings about situations and it might even be in the most mundane the most everyday life that you will have realizations about, like you will have constant epiphanies about like insights, new ideas, understanding about a situation that feels old, like an old path that that somehow casts a new, new light on and in, it will become clearer to you what's going on. This is what we're headed for, Aquarius. You're not quite there yet, I feel, but this is what we're moving into. Wide awake, being in the golden age, the golden era. And I feel like that's you in this in this particular instance, in particular moment in time around what's going on with you at this very moment. This is you. You're dealing with things. You're looking at things in a different way. You're not so quick to judge. You're not so fast to know it all. Uh, but to rather like, wait a minute, maybe there's something else to this story. Maybe I don't know it all. Maybe, maybe there's more to this and I'm interested in listening. I'm interested in finding out what that is. That's it. That's tremendous growth, Aquarius. 
and it will lead you no I'm not I'm not drawn into vacation but I'm drawn to say adventure on the bottom it says take time for re relaxation and adventure and it sounds like there are two opposites like one is relax and one is adventure there's very different energies but I feel like it's you need both so you need a relaxation time for yourself like complete stillness maybe turn phones television games whatever it is that you're doing um turn it off for at least an hour or two and just have that quiet time for yourself but then you also need adventure i feel like there's stuck in a rut like doing the same things over and over and that's sort of what's a bit draining to you i feel and with all this opening up, like all this shift in your energy and coming into this new, newfound place, you really are setting out on this magical carpet ride because I feel like you're going to find so much insight about yourself, insights about others, and it will bring magic, to, it will bring things to your life that you sort of thought was lost or like... Uh, I keep hearing a done deal, but not a done deal in a good way. I, I like, um, I feel like you felt that it was a lost cause. That's that's better description of the energy. I feel like you felt like it's a lost cause. I can't get it back. It's um, it's too late for me. Uh, that's not going to work. Whatever that was is not a lost cause. It it still is. It, it, it's more time than ever because I feel like you're in the right energy for it now, whatever that is, whatever that's a job opportunity, a new business uh, adventure or um, some hobby you want to start to do, new, new like your career change or relationship, whatever that is for you, I feel like you're setting out on this magical carpet ride because you come into so much realization about yourself. And that, that will shift things, Aquarius. It just will shift things. Um, just some clarification around this, like sleep to awake. Because I also know that people drawn to this channel, you're not going to be asleep because you're not going to be able to hear what I'm saying. And I don't mean to sound arrogant, but sleeping people don't want to be held accountable for creating their own life yeah the veil is getting thinner like I feel like you're coming, I, I don't know how to, whatever word you want to use, if you use the word God, use the word God. If you use the word universe, if you use higher self, spirit, whatever it's source, whatever you want to use. I feel like this, you, I feel like you feel that the veil is getting thinner. It's like you're getting closer to God or closer to your inner tru truth. And with this sensuality card coming out, this is like the card showing that you, the veil is being lifted. And that your cup is really, it really starts to, you're filling your own cup up. <laughs> it feels like you try to fill everybody else's cup up and it has just backfired because you're not coming from the right place. You're coming from sort of a half full cup. And it's, if you're trying to give from a half full cup, it's like you're not giving completely from yourself. You're somewhat giving from an empty place and you don't even know why you're giving because because you don't know where you come from, if that makes sense. Now you know where you come from. Your cup is 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 being filled up. You're starting to. This is what I'm saying. You're starting to. This. I want a clarification around this. This is exactly what I tried to say. You're you're starting to understand things about yourself. You're starting to love yourself. You're starting to heal yourself. And because you do, your cup is now becoming full and you can give in a completely different way you will understand why you give is it won't be from like a hollow place it will give it will be from a heartfelt place and that's going to be all the difference to you 
And then this peacock card comes out and I, I feel, feel like that might be a preview for the extended or it might be a preview for your life. Like there's a relationship in the wings. The more you come into like love yourself, understand yourself, fill the cup up. Um, there's true, true. I mean, first of all, this is a true relationship that you have with yourself to truly come into union with you and understand you loving you. And then from that point, you can attract relationships. And I don't care if it's like a romantic relationships. It is my soulmate relationship card though. But it's for friends. It's for family members. It's for coworkers. It's for all like children, parents. Um, it's, it's, you know, having more authentic relationships is what I feel like you, you are moving into now. Okay, guys, if this resonates with you, if you feel like you know what I'm talking about, then you probably will be helped by the extended uh link that's just down um below in the description box if you felt like this was just fine perfect all i needed then thank you so much for watching please subscribe on your way out if you haven't um and i hope to see you back next week take care of bye <laughs>